your weapon at? Your weapon, there you are. Oh, totally wicked, dude. You found a free phone we can use, Gisco. No, Ike, I'm not phoning nobody. I'm listening, right? I'm listening to the explorations of space. It's oh. mega stuff, really interesting, fascinating, in fact, yeah. Well, it all looks a bit boring to me. No, no, you see, there's some really highly technologically advanced stuff here. Oh, yeah, all right, look at this, isn't it terrific? Oh, yeah, What's amazing. going on? What's occurring, Webber? Well, it's the Apollo 11 landing capsule called the Eagle. You know, the Eagle has landed. Oh, mm, right. Terrific. Oh, it carried the first men to the moon on the 20th of July, 1969, actually, which is a moment you should try and remember because it was one small step for man, but a giant leap for mankind. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see that, Webber. Oh, it's terrific, How come it's it? got all plates pot riveted on it, then, like old Jack's Mini? Well, and how come it's covered in tin foil? Well, that's what it looks like. And I can like. see a little bit of wood through there. Yeah, well, this is actually just a model of it. Yeah, but it's right. a little bit of wood there. Oh. I mean, that's not very sort of scientific and, you know, yeah, well, technological, is it? If you want to see a real a one, wood. there's one over here. Yeah, now take a look at this, Ike. This is the real McCoy. Yeah, it looks a bit more technological, doesn't it, yeah. eh? It's the Apollo 10 command module, and, and they called it Charlie Brown. Bit of a silly name, isn't it, Charlie Brown? Right. What are the buckets for at the top? I don't know about that, Ike. I mean, this one didn't actually land on the moon, uh, but it did carry three American astronauts around the moon during May 1969 as a sort of a dress rehearsal for the moon landing. Yeah, I can see them. They're still inside by the look of it. Yeah, they're just models. Oh, are they? Yeah. How come it's got wood around the window, then? Is that a, like a dress rehearsal for the other bit of wood on the other one? Well, I don't know about that. It is, see, it does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? I mean, you'd think that the I wood mean, how would, would you sort of burn up on uh, re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere because yeah. it was travelling at 39,000 kilometres an hour. Pretty fast, then. You see, the trouble is, Ike, yeah. because everything's weightless in space, they can't eat normal foods. So, so they have to eat the sort of stuff out of plastic bags and, and plastic bottles and kind of suck it out. Well, I know that, don't I, Webber? I mean, if I was an astronaut, which I probably would have been if I'd have been around at this time, they'd have probably said, he's so cool, he's so hard, straight into space with him, then uh, I would have gone there and I wouldn't have just eating food because I liked it. You're not at home now. Yeah, I would have eaten food to give me the mental energy, you know, to perform the mission. Oh, wait. They actually have quite a nice selection here. Look, they've got um, hey. a cherry drink up there and uh, a cocoa cherry drink. flake instant breakfast. Very nice. Cocoa flake instant breakfast. Chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding? Something that looks a bit like porridge. I don't believe it. These astronauts aren't half as hard as I thought they were. No, they've even got chewing gum. Yeah. Well, just because to show you, Weber, I should have been an astronaut. I should have been up there pioneering mankind's oh, yeah? uh, exploration of space. Well, you won't say that when you see the nappy you'd have to wear. Come on. Nappy? There you go, Ike. If you were a spaceman, you'd have to wear a nappy under your uh, outfit. That's not a nappy, is it, Weber? What does it say on it? Um, it says it's a urine collection and transfer assembly. That's right. It's just not a nappy. nappy. No, it's not. Well, what about this one then, here in the middle? That says it's a facial containment subsystem. That's a crap bag, that is, Weber. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's a nappy. A nappy. Oh. Well, I would wear one. I'd just uh, contain myself, wouldn't I? What about this, though? Look, you could use a toilet. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, that's what I do, wouldn't I, Weber? I just you use the toilet. What you have to do is um, sort of strap yourself onto it, and then, uh, and then air kind of sucks everything out and down, so it doesn't all float around you. You know. So it's basically a bit like sitting on your mum's vacuum cleaner at full power, is it? Oh yeah. You might get stuck. Look, I'll tell you what, Weber, let's find the box. Yeah, yeah, I could go too. Um, uh, yeah, uh, stick around for uh, yeah, more. Yeah, more from the Science Museum later yeah. with me and Ike. Wait for me, Ike!